Hey, everybody. So uh, Jack, the PhD student, uh, decided to respond. I, I didn't think he would actually respond, being flat out honest. But so um, he did. And then we, we had an exchange. Um, and then um, the exchange went exactly as I thought it would. So essentially, um, I'll, I'll lay it out to you. But so Jack created a compression file that is an impossible to compress file. And he knows it for all of the reasons why I argued with him with it. Uh, and then he kind of just went back and forth on that, right? So told him that I accept his challenge. He says that he created a, he created a, a GitHub repo. Here's a long repository. I created a file that's exactly one megabyte. Yes, of course you did. That's exactly one megabyte, which makes it impossible to compress overall. Uh, and we both know this, right? Uh, and then so uh, I said, uh, you're, uh, can, uh, can you change the file from one megabyte, essentially. Um, and then I, I said, he says, Richard, I can do whatever file size you like. Would you like the file to be bigger? What wouldn't gigabyte suffice? Otherwise, I have to assume you were going to deflect no matter what, because your technique is clearly fraudulent. I said, yes, please just make the file size bigger. One gigabyte is perfect, actually. Um, and then he says, you know, just to get on the same page, do you agree on one gigabyte? I said, send me the file. He said, Richard, you should test, be able to test on the one gigabyte, one megabyte file. And then so he uh, essentially like four responses back and forth, five responses back and forth decides never to update or send me an actual file that could be tested right uh, and then he uh, stuff like this i study compression and machine learning i'm claim, claiming that your compression technique is fraudulent you can't even attempt to compress a simple one megabyte file and clearly you're spouting bs yes very much so why can't you even attempt the compression challenge i did exactly as you asked so again i asked him to increase it he says that he will increase the size uh, and then all of a sudden i i get um verbally attacked again for for simply asking for like what is actually a um relevant challenge within this right and then so to me like social media and a lot of things they they um bring like the people like jack herwitz here have like um uh, outsourced voices when it comes to these things, right? So Jack Hurwitz, because he's willing to tell everyone that is uh, can breathe that he's a computer science PhD student, uh, and I mean, not only is he a P uh, computer science PhD student, but now he studies specifically compression, AI, and quantum mechanics. This guy studies everything that you would ever want with regards towards um, anything that you can't do, right? And he's willing to tell you that. Uh, and then, but when we go to his actual GitHub for compressions, for contributions, in the last year one of them is the test that he gives me um and, and that's it right he has um he, he worked on an rwkv model so i would assume okay he's he knows how to build a model he has um four total compressions uh, four total repositories uh in his challenge that he like i mean this is the the repo for his challenge right and he even says it like in here look i know this is impossible there's a guy claiming that he can compress this file no i never said i can compress this file make it one gigabyte and i can compress it uh, but so this is Jack, right? Uh, and then this is who I have to, to, to argue against on these things. And then here's me, like, um, here's Jack. Here's me, Jack, me. And so within this, like, I, I don't care how many PhD studies Jack has. I don't care if he's been studying his PhD for the last 30 years. He hasn't done anything. Uh, and then so, uh, but because Jack has is a PhD student and he's willing to have a voice and, and willing to spout that out and, and argue rhetoric, um, then then Jack is, I, I have to refute Jack, right? Rather than like, I, I, I have to go and deal with these things like i mean to me like like I, I like there's no other comparison that i need to do than this right but uh overall like it, it, it is uh astounding to me that this issue is persists this issue to me is like a the biggest problem that we face within society right jack Hurwitz is is like to me the, the biggest problem that you face like this person has and like a, a, a uh, outlier voice right their voice has now been amplified and they're willing to amplify it to everyone that speaks again like <laughs> i mean just look at their rhetoric right they are willing to tell you over and over again that they're a phd student that knows more about certain areas that you do they're willing to call out people for fraudulent they're willing to do a bunch of actions to put themselves out there but this is their workload, right? Like this is their actual work product compared to their actual voice and their actual speaking out, right? Like, the, like uh, I don't go call people fraudulent because I work on my own stuff. I've got my own, I'm, I'm busy with, with all of this stuff that I'm doing over here, right? Um, as opposed to this, but like this is the, 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 
the voice that gets amplified and the, and that gets heard uh, within these things, right? Um, and just kind of highlighting it and pointing those things out. And then so uh, I do want to, and I did want to make the follow up on this. Jack did respond. Uh, he you know he sent the challenge. He's he set up a, a clearly impossible challenge. I asked him to make it possible, put it within the realm of possibilities. Uh, instead, he wanted to tell me how much he studies compression and machine learning overall, uh, and then like. Um, Jack, you should spend less time studying and more time on GitHub actually creating stuff, uh, and then we wouldn't have to have these types of arguments overall. But so, uh, bottom line, here's the people that I deal with and I argue with on a daily basis, right? And so you can see calling these people out, these gatekeepers very specifically. Again, like these are the gatekeepers, right? These are the ones that are supposedly having the knowledge within the industry. The the the, the person that has worked on a singular RWKV model is challenging me and saying that I don't know what I'm talking about with my 430. 38 contributions over the last year compared to your four, Jack. I mean, like, uh, contributions and, 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 like, actual workloads speak for themselves, uh, not just saying that you study everything under the sun. Uh, and then, so if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.